doing today? Been a couple of weeks with no vlog because, well, because I didn't feel like it. <laughs> That's the truth. I don't know, man, this pandemic goes in ebbs and flows. It's really funny looking back at my previous vlogs. You can like very clearly see these ebbs and flows in action, you know, where I'm like, one vlog I'm like, this is a great week, I have a great day, I love my job. And then other vlogs I'm like, just trying to make it through sort of thing. Um, and this is definitely one of the trying to make it through sort of weeks that I'm in right now. Actually, I feel like it's been going on for uh, like at least two weeks. Really ready for it to end now, I don't know. Please, please don't like worry about me or anything. I think it's perfectly normal to be going through ebbs and flows like this. We all deal with it in different ways or don't deal with it sometimes as the case may be. But yeah, um, this week's been better than last, which is why I felt like vlogging, I guess. Um, last week was our company retreat, another virtual one. So I think that's why I've kind of been feeling down because it's like, I don't know, every year, twice a year at ConvertKit, we get together in person for team retreats. And this is the second team retreat that we've had to have virtually instead of in person. And so it's kind of just like a reminder, right, of the the state of the world, I guess. And yeah, I was just sad that we couldn't all be together in person for it. I didn't vlog throughout the retreat this time, but I did the last time. So I'll link that on a card if you want to go and check that out to see like how we do virtual retreats at ConvertKit. Um, basically, it is a lot of meetings and stuff, but there's also like half the meetings are sort of fun activities for bonding with the team. And um, during the retreat days, you're not expected to also do your regular work. So I had more like time off in the mornings, which was very much needed and very nice. Um, I also then stayed up late at a lot of the activities too. So, you know, it balanced out. But yeah, that's what happened last week. And as part of it, um, one of the activities that I did on our retreat was a coffee tasting class where, I don't know, it was really cool. We do these like Airbnb experience things. A lot of people have been so creative in the pandemic. I'm like in awe of the way that small businesses have found ways to like provide value in different ways and provide value online um, during the pandemic. So yeah, we had this um, person in, I, think, I believe she was in Colombia and she was teaching us about like, yeah, how to taste coffee and how to make a really good cup of coffee with the equipment that we had. And so now I'm like, taking my coffee making in the mornings more seriously and I'm like actually using a scale to <laughs> weigh the like amount of beans and water and stuff that I'm putting in. Man, it's good. I mean, it tastes delicious. And something else I've been doing is writing every day. I think I've talked about this in a previous vlog, but yeah, started a writing habit at the start of the year. On January 1st, I was like, this is what I'm going to do this year. And I just decided that I was going to do it every day. And I have. It's February 3rd. And so far I've not skipped a day, which is very exciting. You would have heard me talk about that in my bullet journal video, I believe. Um, so I need to mark off that I did indeed do today's writing session. Um, it was only like five, 10 minutes of writing, but you know, it's um, anything counts. <laughs> it's just the, the practice of the habit of it is what's important. Anyway, what else has been going on? Um, I've been building a website in Webflow, which is what I'm gonna get on to doing more of today. I have been streaming it on Twitch. I know I keep talking about Twitch in these vlogs, but like, it's seriously so fun. I've been loving it a lot. It's been feeling sort of like a co-working session um, to just stream my screen as I work. So you should follow me on Twitch. I say that all the time, but please, please go ahead and do it. And if you missed some of the streams, I do have a like separate YouTube channel I'm uploading them all to just to have sort of like as a backup. Uh, and I'm also going to be editing together some cut down versions as well if you don't want to watch me make a website for like three hours at a time, because fair enough. <laughs> but yeah, so we're going to get into what else? What else do I have to update you on? Um, the rules here in Spain have changed for the pandemic, so I guess that's also why I've been feeling kind of like down about everything. Uh, they're just stricter. We can still leave our house though, which is nice because that um, was the part I really struggled with in the early days of the pandemic. But yeah, let's get in to the work day. I have a very busy afternoon of meetings. We're talking meetings basically from three o'clock till eight o'clock. Um, but that means that there's a lot I need to get done in the next few hours before lunch and those meetings start. And I'm gonna get into building some shit in Webflow. It's gonna be fun. Very excited to arrive with still a little mail opening. I probably should have gotten the scissors. Mm. 
ready? Ta-da! Oh my gosh, it looks so cool. Let me lay it out so you can see it properly. Okay, so some context. This was um, part of our retreat gift. Um, usually every retreat we get given a gift, which is really nice. Like it's, yeah, sort of feels like convert at Christmas is what we call it. And part of it, something that I had a hand in helping create is this flag banner that has our Future Belongs to Creators graphic on it. This was designed by the very talented Terence Tang, who is Tin Lun over on Instagram. Um, it's screen printed onto this like handmade felt flag. It's by the same company who made this one that I absolutely love, that hangs on my wall very proudly. And so, yeah, I'm really excited to add, I now get to add this one to it. I think that I'm gonna hang it up here. Let me um, try and put the camera down. <laughs> So we can see if we can visualize it. Are you even gonna be able to see? Yeah, maybe. Okay. But if it's uh, here, I think that'll look cool. I don't think you can really tell on camera, but just trust me. <laughs> There's that microphone getting in the way again. <laughs> just to show you a few other things that were part of um, my retreat gift this time around, we got to choose whether we wanted a snack gift, a chill gift, or a create gift. And I chose create, and uh, some of the main things in it were, first of all, this candle here, which is, like, it smells like the ocean. It's delicious. I don't know, it's really nice. How the beauty bloggers do it. <laughs> uh, and then I also got these three little coloring books, which are filled with, like, you know, stuff, mindfulness, creativity activities that, rhymed uh, and a set of colored pencils like all the colors you could want how do i show you without dropping them so many pencils to color in with which is really cool uh, there's a few more things as well that are sort of scattered around my house because i've been using them stuff like this journal which is like an accompaniment to michelle obama's book um, it features like a, a prompt and then you sort of like write your version of the story about it. Um, so that's really cool. That's another nice like little mindful thing to do. Super thoughtful gifts, super generous, um, love them. Another thing that was part of it that in the package when I first opened it, I was like, what? Okay, what, what are we getting a koosh ball for? Like throwback to the 90s much. Um, and I thought that this would be something that I would, you know, have to try and find someone to pass it on to. But it has been so surprising how, like, I don't know, just like calming it is to have as a little fidget toy. So, yes, this is what I am often found doing during meetings now. Playing with the kush ball and realizing that I'm very uncoordinated when it comes to catching with my left hand. But yeah, very nice gift. I feel very lucky. Very, very lucky indeed to work for a company that does this sort of thing. But I have to say, I'm most excited about that flag because, I mean, look at my walls. <laughs> to be ironed or something but I just wanted to get it up as soon as possible and as per usual using my favorite trusty command strips my whole wall is hung up through command strips um, and so far they've served me well but yeah for this in particular it's super light so definitely easy to stick up it looks so cool it's really exciting seeing this wall being more filled out I still need to like there's a piece of art I want to make myself to fill that gap and then I have a few others that I can hang up to like, you know, start inching closer to the side. And then I guess it's time to go onto this wall here. <laughs> Yay, gallery wall. Okay, I'm about to enter my afternoon meetings. I have not gotten as much done on the website build as I wanted, but what else is new? I think it's going okay though. 
I'm looking forward to some having like a larger chunk of time tomorrow to work through it. Um, but what can I show you? This is what it's looking like right now. Let me just load this. See how this line extends down when you load? How fun is that? Yeah, like I said, there's still a lot of placeholder content in here, but I'm super excited with the stuff I've managed to do so far. I want to add more interactions, like just subtle stuff, but you know, a few things. Um, but right now I'm focusing first on making sure that the pages look good on each device size. So like this, that could do with some fixing. <laughs> anyway, that's all I'll get to on this today. Um, time for meetings and then podcast recording as well. Uh, yeah, busy afternoon ahead. <laughs>
been a productive Saturday um, and I'm going to sign off the vlog now because uh, from now on I'm going to move into relaxing mode for the weekend. But yeah, got a lot done. Um, most of the things that I needed to do, not all of them to be honest, but I mean that hardly ever happens. By the time you see this vlog there'll be two things that I would love for you to do next. One is head to creatingdesigncontent.com um, where you can sign up to join that live event that we're doing if you would enjoy doing that and if it's before February 12th when you're watching this. And the second thing is head to iamacreator.co where you can check out the site that I've been building um, in this vlog and over the past few weeks and hopefully you might want to take part in the giveaway by nominating a creator that you believe in to receive a free copy of the book. I don't know but there'll be more details about that on the site. So go check it out and uh, let me know what you think of the design of both of those things as well. All right, hope you have a good week and I'll see you in the next vlog. Bye.